Good morning. Poverty. Yesterday we were discussing regarding as a reasons responsible for poverty in India. The reasons causes responsible for poverty in India, in which as a one discussed as a British rule, 200 years of a British rule badly it influencing over the Indian economy, Indian economy, those industries before of a British age, which were as a flourished by the rulers as a weavers, handicraft industry, these were ruined during the British rule. During the British rule, after the 50 years of Indian independence, it proved that the growth of a growth of cottage industries, growth of a handicraft industries in a rural economy is supportive for Indian economy, is supportive to the people to eradicate the problem of poverty trends in India. Eradicate the poverty trends in India. We discuss as a lack of uh, industrialization, those cities, those areas, whereas industries are not growing as, as per the demand in such areas, the economical development, the economic development is a lower comparatively the other regions, comparatively the other regions. That's why as the adjoining parts of a Delhi, Noida, Gurgaon developed due to the location of industries, Western parts of a country developed due to as a concentration of a cotton textiles, Southern part, Karnataka, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh developing due to the IT based industries, clear? IT based industries, lack of industrialization badly influenced over a growth of economy, clear? Then third we, now the third reason as a rural economy, Indian economy as a predominantly dependent upon a rural economy. It is known as the rural economy which means as a 70 percentage of a job opportunities directly and indirectly provided by primary sector. Seven zero, 70 percentage of job opportunities directly and indirectly provided by the primary sector. Due to as a such number of a large workforce, which is directly dependent upon a primary sector, there is a problem arise named as a disguised unemployment or hidden unemployment or underemployment. All these are the synonyms of a disguised unemployment in which a more number of workers employed on working sites as compared to their demands. As compared to their demands. If, if we exclude the extra workforce which is engaged in a agricultural fields, it will not influence over a production. It will neither influence over a production. Clear? Now, let's start as a fourth point. High pressure of population. High pressure of population. Fourth reason responsible for poverty trends in India as the high population. High pressure of population high pressure of population. So India's population has increasing at alarming rates. At the time of independence, 35 crores of a population, which is now has becomes after the 70 years of Indian independence as 130 crores. 130 crores as a total population of India becomes after the 70 years of Indian independence. After 70 years of Indian independence, the total population of our country has become the 130 crores. 130 crores as the total population becomes after 70 years of Indian independence. As for the increasing population, increasing population, services are not improving. Job opportunities are not increasing. That's why the people, job opportunities are not improving. That's why as the unemployment has existing in our country and the people are migrating towards as the other areas for a better living conditions. For better living conditions, they are moving. Due to as increasing in a demand, as proportion to the demand, supply is not influencing. Supply of goods is not increasing. 
so which which resulted as the inflation when a demand is a consistently as increasing and the supply not increase under such circumstances inflation influenced the economy means hike in prices means hike in prices increase in prices of goods hike in prices increase in prices of goods inflation leads when the demand of goods consistently as an increasing comparatively the supply if the supply has also increased in relation to the demand under such circumstances the prices are controlled you can uh, visualize the such kind of the changes during the time of a harvesting of a crops at the time of the harvesting season of uh, any of a crop wheat or a rice prices of a goods prices of the price of wheat is the lower at the time of april and may it will be the available at amount of 20 to 25 rupees 20 to 25 rupees if now in present in january february march you will go towards the market for purchasing of a wheat it will available as a more than 30 rupees because it's a off season in a off season supply as influenced comparatively the demand but at the time of a harvesting season as supply increases as similar to the demand so that's why as a prices are controlled at the time of a on season on season of a such particular number of a goods clear such number of goods their prices are their prices are decreasing why as the prices increasing due to the demand increasing day by day but as equivalent to the demand supply decreasing that land which now as presently the comes under the cities metropolitan cities earlier around 40 50 years back it was used for a agricultural land due to the expansion of a cities expansion of a jalandhar it occup it is now as occupying as a agricultural fields if the land not available for agriculture how can we produce means supply will influence if the supply is decreasing then the hike in prices things it will be becomes as a more expensive people can't complete their basic necessities as a food shelter and clothing clear food shelter and clothing due to as a due to as the increasing growth of population so our foremost demand as a we have to control over a population if the population is controlling in our country then what will be happen under such circumstances the burden on a land resource it will be starts to as reduce reduce demand it will control and the supply will not influenced by the influenced by the demand clear so this was as a fourth reason responsible for a poverty in india fourth reason responsible for poverty in india next as a chronic unemployment unemployment the situation of unemployment also responsible for poverty in india unemployment unemployment riskari unemployment unemployment is a situation unemployment is a situation in which more people are unemployment is a situation sorry unemployment is a situation in which a person ready to work at present wages unemployment is a situation in which a person is ready to work at present wages present wages but unable to find work unable to find work due to as increasing population large workforce available in our country for a work which is ready to work as a present wages minimum wages which are set by the government of india on such wages such salaries they are agreed to work but as per the demand of a work supply of a job opportunities generation of a job opportunities are not adequate job opportunities are not adequate which leads to the unemployment that state is a unemployment if the person will not do the work how can they will earn if they will not earn how can they will survive how can they will complete their basic needs 
how can they will complete their basic needs clear the foremost demand of the present economy as per increasing number of uh, inhabitants as per increasing the population jobs are required in a extensive way for which as we have to emphasize over the industries through the manufacturing industries we can complete the need of employment through manufacturing industries we can increase number of job opportunities if the job opportunities increase through as the manufacturing units through the industries then it will be reduced as a burden on an agricultural sector such 70 percentage of a people which are directly dependent upon a agricultural sector their burden we can reduce with the manufacturing units through industries clear so this reason responsible for the unemployment yes indices can be set very good goshan so indices we have to increase to which we can reduce the burden on a agricultural sector increase in a growth of a manufacturing sector secondary sector and tertiary sector make possibilities to reduce burden on a agriculture sector and complete the need of a job opportunities then goshan trend it will be change simultaneously the trend will change if the job opportunities given to the engineers which are completing their education in our country if they are getting as a jobs within as a country then they will not moving towards abroad trend it will be start to change clear unemployment has adversely impact over the poverty trends in country poverty trends in country through as the unemployment due to as the increasing pressure of a people on a land areas the per hectare production as a decreasing day by day which leads to the decreasing now as presently as a decreasing the job opportunities in agricultural sector also agricultural sector also clear fifth reason clear sixth reason responsible for the sixth reason responsible for sixth reason responsible for the poverty in india are the social factors social factors social factors like illiteracy large size of families families they are becomes as a larger due to as a preference to the male child preference to the male child that's why as a some of the families are the bigger in one large size of families before of independence most number of the families these were consisting of the 15 to the 20 kids it was as a, a normal the reason behind as the death rate at that time the deaths were more occur people were not access towards a better medical facilities out of the 10 15 kids really here i am talking about the age of a before of independence really as a Two to three kids were there, which can cross the age of a twenty years. Most number of kids die due to as a malnourishment, malnourishment, not adequate medical facilities given to them, services not given to them. That's why as kids die. Most number of families having as ideology that if the number of the inhabitants present, if the number of members are more in a family, then it will influence over a. it will influence over a family income number of hands because the most number of a people they engage in a domestic industries domestic cottage based industries and such kind of the family members engaged in a agricultural activities that's why the generally the people having as a larger family sizes so in social factors social factors like as illiteracy a person which is unable to write read and write is a illiterate second as a large size of the families law of the inheritance in which as a land becomes as a smaller in size smaller in size for example a person which has having as a four acres of a land four acres it's having as a two kids 
after its death the land will distributing among among the both the kids as 2 2 hectares and, and if both the kids having as a two kids again then again as land bifurcated L right to inheritance responsible for the so, uh, poverty in india illiteracy large size of families law of inheritance law of inheritance responsible for the responsible for the expansion of poverty in india expansion of poverty in india clear poverty in india if the person is unable to read and write not as a professionally qualified in relation to the any of her skills in that state in that state a person will engage in a low graded work to which it can't complete as their basic needs the last size of sizes of the families are also responsible for the poverty trends poverty trends in which as a sizes of the family increases due to the preference to the male child preference to male child responsible for the increase in a number of a number of a family members are responsible for poverty trends in india poverty trends in india any question still there causes now we are identified that the what are the forms of the poverty absolute and the relative poverty how can we estimate as a poverty we can estimate the poverty through the two methodologies expenditure method income method for a distinguish in between of a people for which we are using as a poverty line then causes responsible for the causes responsible for the poverty in india inheritance law means inheritance means that land which was as a larger in size used by the one family now as bifurcated among as a coming generations smaller agriculture fields means as a decrease in a production earlier that family which produce as a 10 quintals from per acre four acres that land possessed by the person means 40 acres 40 uh, quintals of a total production 40 quintals it earn as a good margin of a profit but after the bifurcation of a land among their two kids two to the next two kids land becomes as a smaller in size then it will simultaneously influence over a production influence over production if the production is a lesser how can a person will complete their other needs clear jab ji it can't complete their needs for which as a law of inheritance responsible for the responsible for poverty trends in india poverty trends in india in expenditure method in expenditure method we have to identify first of all that the what kind of the number of goods are desired by the individual desired by the individual or required which has used by the individual in their day to day life then we have to estimate that the how how many number of a calories are completing through the such number of a goods which are taking by the hashir bedi in their daily life clear manavid bedi total number of uh, things goods used by the used by the hashid bedi in their daily life whatever the goods are there food items are there what are, what is there caloric value then we have to check that how much money is required which are which is, which can be as a spent by the hashid bedi for completion of their food items the value of a such goods we have to place at a side then second the total amount of a money spent by the hashid bedi on their clothing items as for as per the existing conditions seasons it will be as a place at a site third total amount of expenditure spent by the hashid on a completion of their services basic needs the other number of a services like as a rented apartment electricity water supply sanitation for which as whatever expenses are there spent by the hashid bedi then we will add as a value of a goods prices of a goods prices spent on a clothing items and a prices spent on a such amount of a money which is spending on a, a services their addition it will be as a help to estimate as a that person as a living as a below poverty line or not 
for which as i given you as the world bank given as criteria of a per capita income countries which are possessing as a 35500 or less than are under developed nations like as in india according to the world bank india is a under developed economy under developed economy under developed economy but if if you want to check the health status of a individual of your health status we have to use as a bmi body mass index body mass index body mass index in this method you have to calculate as your weight first in a kgs weight sorry first of all you have to measure as the you have to measure tons weight in kilograms weight in kilograms then divided by the square of height your height it should be in a meters height it should be in meters if your figure which has comes it will be as a lesser than the 18 that person is a undernourished that individual is a undernourished undernourished total weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters square of height in meters through which you can calculate as a body mass index a person is healthy or not that particular person has taking as a adequate number of a calories in their day to day life or not through which you can estimate it if your value comes as a less than the 18 then the person is a undernourished if your value has comes as more than 25 that person is a overweight clear that individual is the overweight according to the height proportion of a height with the weight is as the important can we solve as a problem of a poverty in india problem of poverty problem of poverty the removal of poverty how can we eradicate poverty how can we remove poverty from india for which as which of the efforts are done by the government of india since independence to the modern in time since independence for eradication of poverty eradication of poverty different number of schemes programs schemes programs initiated by government initiated by government under economic planning under economic planning the current anti poverty strategy the current anti poverty strategy strategies strategies of the government is based on of the government is based on government is based on two types first as promotion of economic growth promotion of economic growth promotion of economic growth and poverty alleviation program poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs and promotion of economic growth promotion of economic growth in relation to the afterwards independence just after the independence what efforts done by the government of india in relation to the eradication of poverty removal of poverty promotion of economic growth economic growth for which as a first step took by the government of india as a land reforms land reforms land 
reforms for promotion of a promotion of economic growth government took as the land reforms land reforms second sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy growth of economy sectoral growth of economy third industrialization 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 fourth availability of availability of credit availability of credit availability of credit availability of credit next agricultural development agricultural development agricultural development agricultural development development under the poverty alleviation program those schemes initiated by the government of india in relation to the removal of poverty in relation to removal of poverty first manrega mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act swarna jayanti gram swarojgar yojana swarna jayanti gram swarojgar yojana so other number of schemes which initiated by the government of india in relation to poverty eradication of a poverty in india so let's start from the first land reforms first as land reforms land reforms after the independence after independence government took the land reforms like it abolished zamindari system government abolished zamindari system abolished we will discuss them in detail jia first land reforms land reforms in which government abolished zamindari system ban on shifting cultivation ban on shifting cultivation fixation of rents third fixation of rents land rent it was as a fixed by the government of india especially for agriculture lands fixation f i x a t i o n fixation of rents abolition of a zamindari system ban on shifting cultivation <coughs> ban on shifting cultivation due to as economic policies of the britishers there was a huge gap between the income of the rich and the poor <coughs> during colonial age rich becomes as a more richer like landlords rich becomes more richer and the poor becomes the more poorer those earlier known as the farmers they becomes as a tenants they becomes as the landless laborers which earlier known as a land owners wealth and other resources was concentrated in the hands of a few people so for which as a to solve the such problem government of india opted the these reforms 
abolish the zamindari system fixation of rents ban on shifting cultivation ban on shifting cultivation clear ban on shifting cultivation next sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth for sectoral growth of economy government set up the planning commission in 1950 planning commission in 1950 through which government as first emphasized on a agricultural sector that's why as a green revolution introduced in a 1960s green revolution introduced in 1960s in the age of a 1980s and 90s government emphasized over the industries and afterwards as 1990s as a tertiary sector so sector by sector government started to invest the money invest their finance uh, financial resources for sectoral growth of economy for sectoral growth of economy for sectoral growth of economy clear sectoral growth of economy government at earlier started to invest their money in a growth of agriculture for which in green revolution introduced in 1960s to improve the agriculture production with the use of a modern methodologies of agriculture like machines fertilizers insecticides hiv seeds assure availability of irrigation facilities to which the agriculture production improved when agriculture production improved people can complete as a need of a food then government moving towards as a number of industries age of a 1980s 90s newer number of industries was set up in our country afterwards government moving towards as a tertiary sector since last two decades the telecommunication services are improving as a many folds telecommunication services insurance banking health education they are now as a growing as their fastest way since last 2 to the 3 decades 30 years of a previous they are growing as in faster way comparatively the other sectors of economy clear rest we will discuss on tomorrow any questions yes any questions those who wanna ask any question you have to click your cameras first